Hi, Abhinash. How are you? Yes, sir. I am fine, sir. Can you tell us something about Hi. yourself? Uh, hi, sir. Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Avinash Sahu. I am from Bihar. And I have completed uh, my graduation in my, as a mechanical engineer. Now I have work. Uh, I am working in Eco Unified Solution, uh, Eco Unified Software Solution. Past three years, one year I have worked as a automation manual tester, and now recently from two years I am working as an automation test engineer. Okay. Okay. Great. Yes. So, Abhinash, can you tell us something about the automation framework in which we are working? Sir, in our company, we are preferring as a hybrid framework. Mm -hmm. As a hybrid framework, uh, nothing but is uh, giving us some guidelines and uh, uh, procedures to write the test scripts to automate the applications. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, normally, we are using a, a dot for fetching that uh, if we want yeah. to test our application for multiple inputs. For that purpose, we are using a data from external source. We want to fetch those uh, data for our automation script. That's why we are our first uh, uh, that driven, that is nothing but a data driven. Whatever the code we are to avoid the repetitive methods uh, to avoid the uh, writing the repetitive methods in our script. Mm -hmm. We will make uh, that turn to on framework also. That is method driven framework. Uh, then after all, so whatever we are uh, handling the modules, for that we are creating a separate uh, classes for that. We are making that is as a, our separate uh, driven test. That is a uh, modular driven. Like that, more than uh, more than two uh, frameworks we are using. That's why we are calling as our uh, in our system we are using as a uh, hybrid framework in our company. Okay. Normally, like this procedure we are doing. Okay. Now, in an interview, when you get uh, the question on explaining your framework, right? So you have to tell what is the reporting mechanism, which is the programming language. Then, of course, data data driven framework, and why did you choose that framework? And apart from that, the common controls or the utility you will be having, the configuration files, the base class you will be having. So those all things you okay. will have to cover, right? Whenever you are okay. explaining about your framework, it should be a detailed answer. Maybe it can take a duration of five to seven minutes in an interview. But we have to tell in detail about power framework. Yes, yes, everything you have to tell. Okay. Now, can you tell me how are the OOPS concepts being implemented in your framework? Sir, in our framework, all the OOPS concepts are get implemented. Uh, like means inheritance. Basically, a structure only it is an inheritance. Our architecture only that. Hmm. Because uh, each uh, interfaces classes are get inherited. One inheritance means uh, remote web driver. Uh, remote web driver. It is a class. It is get inherited. Uh, the Chrome driver class get inherited from remote web driver. Hmm. The inheritance will happen here. And abstraction means uh, the methods of web driver. We are implement giving a implementation in Chrome driver or. Uh, five. We are using Chrome driver means we are giving the implementation Chrome class. If we want to use Firefox means I will giving the implementation in Firefox. Like that abstraction is happening here. And polymorphism, polymorphism uh, uh, <coughs> means uh, uh, that totally abstraction also uh, giving the implementation. Some methods we are overriding from you know, basically in uh, ITS listener. The methods of uh, whenever we are getting our uh, test cases are skipped, failed, and passed. On that time, in particular, our based on our requirement, if my test cases get failed while I am running a suit, uh, on that time, I want to know which test case I got, uh, get failed. Uh, on that time, I want a screenshot of that test case. Can I can easily track that one? That's why by using a test uh, listener, I'm overriding the methods. Yes, here, here polymorphism is happening. And uh, encapsulation while creating a form classes of each web pages. I'm using polymorphism. Yes, like that. All the OOPS concepts are covering in our uh, in automation, sir. In present working, right in that. Yes, yes. So uh, you were mentioning about polymorphism with respect to listener, right? Yes. The listeners that you have implemented. Okay. So let this be an open question for the people who are watching this video. Uh, can someone give an example of polymorphism being implemented in the automation framework? Uh, 
right? So please uh, drop down your answers in the comment section of this video. Okay. Now, Abhinash, I have a scenario. Let's say uh, there are two users for uh, Amazon.com application, right? So you have automated this e-commerce application, which is Amazon.com. Now you need to run it for two users. Okay. So is it possible to run for two users at single time? via Selenium automation, is it possible? Two users. Mm -hmm. So as of now, let's take an example. If you are running the automation, right, of any yes. application, we have to take an example of Amazon. So you are running it on your machine for one browser, right? Is it yes. possible to run for uh, multiple users at a single time? Ah, yes, sir. How? It is possible. Sir, uh, like uh, executions are the right parallel mm -hmm. at a time you know, within a two bro two different browser also we can able to execute automate. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, oh, same browser also by splitting mm -hmm. our test cases and our test classes like mm -hmm. that only we can able to automate this thing okay. to get reduce the timing purpose. We are going mm -hmm. for uh, if I have a thousand sub test cases, mm -hmm. it will take around twenty hour or uh, twenty five hours. I don't know. But I want quick result with a short term of period, right? On that time, we'll go for parallel execution. Right. All the test cases I want to execute in same browser means I will uh, make it as a two different test so testers within a single so right. yes, like that I can able to automate. So so how will you uh, achieve this via Selenium automation, the parallel execution? Sir, uh, test ng XML suit is there, right? Mm -hmm. By using XML suit. Okay. So can you write a code on a very high level? How will you achieve this in test ng using test ng XML? Right? Sir. Uh, uh -huh. huh, if I have a test cases already, I have a written around mm -hmm. thousand plus test cases are there in my test ng suit. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a test ng XML suit in that. First, I have to convert that one into a suit. Whatever the my test cases are there, right? I have to convert that one into a suit. After that, in that suit, I have a suit, test, uh, testers, test. Whatever the test block is there, right? Mm. I have to make that test block as a two. Mm. Okay. Yes, two test blocks within a single suit. Mm. I will give the, uh, the test names are different names. I will give thread counts. I will change. After that, I will run that test single suit. Mm -hmm. It will open two times the browser and it will start the running. I will uh, separate. Uh, I will separate the some set of test case in one uh, one test uh, block and another test uh, block is there. Right? In that some uh, half of the test cases, like that, I will partition. I will run. So, okay. Okay, so apart from this test ng approach, which is another another approach that you would take if you want to do parallel execution in multiple browsers. Mm. Apart from test ng, sir, so basically we are doing on test ng only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can use Selenium Grid as well. Yes, Selenium Grid. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. What uh, what types of uh, exceptions you have found while running your automation? Uh, some exception like uh, if I have identified the path, but uh, uh, element is I not found. Mm. There is no such exception, no such element exception. Uh, in case of uh, uh, handling the uh, in POM classes. If a element is not get initialized around that time, stale reference, uh, stale, stale reference exception, uh, element exception. And whenever I have handling the list box, if I have tried to select, uh, I want to fetch a not selected item. Uh, if I want to uh, deselect without selecting that element on that time, no, uh, no such uh, selected exception. Mm -hmm. And if in case my path only the wrong means illegal state, uh, illegal state, and uh, if in case the browser is get updated means uh, no such session created exception like that exceptions we are getting sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, great.
okay let's say if i want to enter some value in some particular cell so how how will you do that in automation i want to enter some value in particular yeah, some value let's say i want to enter your name as a value abhinash in cell a1 of excel file so is it possible via selenium automation sir like for that we have a... yeah. mm -hmm. no for uh, adding the value in cell excel uh, it is possible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can able to do by using the uh, the file input stream we are using to get that file in read mode we have a workbook factory methods mm -hmm. uh, now we can able to uh, add the values in that by using set value method okay so you will be using yeah. apache poi for that yeah apache poi yes. okay and what what method you told uh, set value set cell value would be the method yes 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 sir set cell value and if you want to create some particular row so it is uh, you will have to create first uh, the object of spreadsheet yes sir. yes sir. right and then yes, sir. you can have that method create row i have you can call yes. spreadsheet dot create row and that method will be called yes in particular particular seat mm. particular cell yes. you have to mention that yes now let's say you have a string abhinash right in this string yes. a is coming twice right so mm. can you tell me the high level java program how will you write the java program such that you can find the characters which are repeated more than once mm. sir uh, for this string i will create a one literal yes that literal i will uh, mm, okay string literal dot index of that particular character if you know uh, st dot index of that particular character that should not be a uh, that should not be equal to minus 1 mm -hmm. like this if that character is multiple times means we will get that one yeah so so what would be your algorithm how many for loops you will have sir oh, one for loop only one for loop are you sure yes sir uh, one for yes, sir. okay sir one for loop see first of all i'm i'm telling you in a very high level algorithm you uh, you know right algorithm is you will first define a string right then yes. you will have two loops that you will you yes. will be using to find the duplicate characters outer loop will be there mm -hmm. which is used to select a character and initialize the variable mm -hmm. count by one so you will increment the counter by one every time inner loop mm -hmm. will be there which will compare the selected character with the rest of the characters present in the stream right now if a match is found it will increment mm -hmm. by one and set the duplicate of the selected character by zero to mark them as that it is already counted visited once okay. now after inner loop if count of character is greater than 1 then it has duplicates in the string yes sir. did you get that okay okay sir or let me show you one program is my screen visible mm. yes sir see this is your string right you will have one yes, sir. count count is one, one count is right yes. duplicate characters in a given string now you will count each character present in a string so this is for loop this is outer for loop okay okay with respect okay, to sir. length of the string and this is inner yes, length of and then we are yes, setting this particular string j to zero to avoid printing the already visited character. Okay. Okay. Then we have if condition. Yes. If condition. Yeah. And then the final out. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. So Abhinash, uh, I am done with the interview. Uh, I have a live session in uh, five minutes, right? So all the best okay, for your sir. career ahead. And it was nice talking to you. Uh, you just need to improve a bit on these kind of Java programming thing. And 
especially automation framework related question right okay sir yeah okay thank you okay. and wish you all the best for your career thank you sir thank you yes.